Hi kids! It's our math time! We are now on our quarter two, week 7 lesson. Giving the place value and value of decimal numbers. And reading and writing decimals through hundreds. Let's study. Look at the place value chart of a whole number with decimal number below. And then try to analyze the place value and value of each digit. Digit 1 is in the 1's place. And its value is 1. Digit 2 is in the 10's place of the decimal place value chart. Its value is 2 tenths and can be written as 0 0.2. 3 is in the hundreds place and the value is 3 hundredths or can be written as 0 0.03. The given number is read as 1 and 23 hundredths. Now, let's analyze the second example. This time, zero is in the ones place. This means that there is no whole number. Digit four is in the tens place. And the value is four tens or can be written as 0 0.4. Zero point four is read as four tens. They can be both written as 0 0.4 or 0.4. Here's another example for us to study. Given number is 2.07. Digit 2 is in the 1's place. The value of 2 is 2 since it is in the 1's place of the whole number place value chart. 0 is in the tens place and the value is 0. 7 is in the hundreds place and the value is 0 0.07. This decimal number is read as 2 and 7 hundredths. Let's remember. To read the decimal number, read the digits after the decimal point. Read the place value of the last digit. If there are digits starting from 1 and up in whole number part, read the decimal point as end. And read the number starting from the highest whole number followed by the decimal number. Say for example, 2.45. This can be read or write as. 2 and 45 hundredths. 0 is placed to any empty column between the decimal point and the digits. Example. 0 0.86 or 0.86 are both correct. Now, let's practice answering learning task 1. Give the place value of the underlined digit. This time, for learning task 2, give the value of the underlying digit.
Let's continue with learning task 3. Write the numbers in the blank. Learning task 4. Write the following in decimal form. And finally, for learning task 5. Match each phrase found in column A with the correct decimal form in column B. Let's keep trying. Choose the letter of the correct answer. Great! Hope you learned a lot from our lesson today. Learning is fun and easy with Teacher Flora. Don't forget to like our videos. Comment down your thoughts and messages for us and hit the subscribe button for more updates.